the world a smile each day. It's good to have you here. So now we're going to take you through some of the wonderful old traditional gospel music that's meant so much to so many people through the years. I grew up singing this stuff all my life, and a lot of it has to do with traveling, and uh, we've just talked about giving the world a smile each day. This is probably one of the other great old tunes that uh, uh, goes back through history about as far as any of them, and quartets were doing their best to do this back years and years ago. It was uh, first copyrighted in 1933. That was a year before I was born. And it's still good stuff as you travel along on the Jericho Road. As you travel along.
extra hand for old Ray Dean in the deep note. And then my good buddy Ernie over here. He and I do some duet work occasionally, and he's tough, isn't he? Let's give Ernie a big hand right here. Hmm. Well, these guys are fun. We've had a wonderful time getting ready for this, and they have known so many more things than I did at certain points and remembered words that we'd all forgotten. But in digging back and searching through uh, the kind of music that quartets and church groups sang all the time when I was growing up, I had uh, so much fun getting back into the various categories of music. There was stuff that we sang at funerals. And there was stuff that had to do with heaven, and there was stuff about crossing over Jordan, and there was stuff about uh, the church back in the valley, and there was music about mama and daddy and how I broke their heart and got back too late and stood on the porch and wept, and it was just great. <laughs> There's a lot of weeping in a lot of this music, but uh, this next song I think has... Uh, about as much promise as anything, and golly, I've sung this, I don't know how many times, and we've had fun resurrecting this one today. Uh, now, this is probably the way we might do this at my church in Louisville, Kentucky, where we have Bach and Beethoven and a pipe organ and all that stuff, see. And I'm a pretty high-toned church musician, <laughs> contrary to some other people I could mention. But uh, <laughs> Hamill's you. idea of high-toned music is dust in the snaggletooth piano. <laughs> which he does regularly. <laughs> but this one's called No Tears in Heaven. And uh, I'm going to do this through and just kind of show you how you can take this kind of thing uptown with you off of Route 4. Bless, thrill, and otherwise strengthen all those who hear. B.G. Deer. No tears in the heaven no sorrows given, all will be glory in that land. There'll be no sadness, all will be gladness when we shall join the Help on the chorus, please. No tears, no tears, no tears up there. Sorrow and pain will all have flown. No tears. that away in Louisville, Kentucky on Sunday morning, mm -hmm. but on Saturday night, yeah. here's the way we do it. <laughs> Some morning yonder we'll cease to ponder for things this life has brought to view. That's got all will be clearer loved ones be dearer
Oh. That's the way you're supposed to sing it, boy. I believe you. If that ever comes back, we're ready. <laughs> Aren't these guys great? Give them a big hand. Come on, that's super. When my uh, mother introduced me to gospel music, she didn't actually introduce me to it. She handcuffed me to it. And we had to start from the very beginning learning all kinds of stuff. Getting used to that kind of music was fun for me. Probably one of the songs I remember best out of all the songs in my childhood that I wanted to keep the beat up for was Looking for a City. Now, I remember in West Texas, when you're looking for a city, you didn't have to look hard. You could see all of them. <laughs> West Texas is so flat, it looks like it's iron. In fact, you could change clothes in the middle of the highway, and if you saw a car coming, you had time to knit something before it got there. You know what I mean? It was just came at you from everywhere. Weren't any trees to dot the landscape. Had a few trees. They have different names in West Texas. They call them telephone poles. <laughs> time together with wire. <laughs> Keeps Oklahoma from slipping south on us, you know. <laughs> But this song, Looking for a City, picks up on another one of those great moving themes in most gospel music, uh, and it had to do with the fact that this is kind of an unfriendly world. I'm just a pilgrim here. Farther along, we'll understand it all by and by. And we're always looking for over in the glory land, getting out of all this misery. Chiggers. <laughs> you know. I don't know about y'all, but if I'd been Noah, that's two things I'd have left off the ark was chiggers. Why did he do that to us? He didn't have to bring everything, you know. He, I know he left some weird-looking stuff. We find skeletons out there that didn't get on the boat. Could have left the chiggers. But all this unfriendly place and all this misery that's around us and just die and go to glory and over in the promised land, that was kind of a thing. So we're looking for a city where the streets are solid gold and we're just going to have a wonderful time and the pearly gates will open and the wings will flap and the harps will sound and the clouds will duck and it'll be endless sunshine. Joy, 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 joy. You know, it's that kind of deal. <laughs> well, we're going to do a medley of several old Pilgrim in this weary land songs built around the theme song, uh, Looking for a City, which is one of my all-time favorite songs and with the help of the world's most incredible quartet, the Kingsman. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> complete with reading glasses. <laughs> we, <laughs> do those have little lines across them to keep your notes in place? When yeah, you right, them? right, right. I know, how much, I know how much notes mean to you, Jim. That's right. <laughs> this is printed too close to the paper. That's I'm what I, hard I read. The <laughs> only notes he knows about are the ones he has at the bank. That's right. it. So. <laughs> he plays by ear and runs like crazy. That's what he does. <laughs> So we're going to give you a little shout of one of our favorite old songs, Looking for a City. Here among the shadows, living in a lonely land, there's dangers, we're a band of pilgrims on the moon. And though we're burdened down with sorrow, and we're shunned on every hand, but we are looking for a city built above. Sinking sand, it is 
Gentlemen, the Kingsman. Practice, so oh, practice what you preach. Practice, so oh, practice what you preach. It's what you do, not what you say, that's going to count on Judgment Day. So practice, oh, practice what you preach. Now, Brother Brown, we hear your voice a singing in the choir. You memorize the hymn book, that's a fact we all admire. But if St. Peter hears your song, I kind of calculate He also hears them buttons you keep it up and in the play Practice, so oh, practice what you preach Practice, so oh, practice what you preach It's what you do, not what you say That's gonna count on Judgment Day So practice, oh, practice what you preach Now Deacon Jones is sitting here He runs a butcher shop he likes to quote the Bible as he weighs the steak or chop. Well, Deacon, that sounds mighty fine, but tell me just how come you charge us for a pound of meat and a half a pound of thumb. Practice, oh, practice what you preach. Practice, oh, practice what you preach. It's what you do, not what you say that's going to count on Judgment Day. So practice, oh, practice what you preach. Here who gossips quite a lot She knows who's been where with whom And if they ain't, why not So sister, if you aim to sit Beside that golden throne Stop talking about your neighbor's sin And start thinking about your own Practice, oh, practice what you preach Practice, oh, practice what you preach It's what you do, not what you say That's gonna count on Judgment Day So practice Oh, practice what you preach. It's what you do, not what you say that's gonna count on Judgment Day. So practice, oh, practice what you preach. What you preach. The Kingsman. I think you're going to recognize the uh, the wonderful strokes at the beginning of this next song. This is called Turn Your Radio On. Uh, we're living in a modern generation uh, for whom there are so many other ways to communicate than just the radio. We not only have AM, we got AM and FM, we got stereophonic, we got quadraphonic, we've got shortwave, all kinds of radio. Then you got television, you got Atari, <laughs> which is where some people are worshiping lately. And uh, I got to thinking about you couldn't turn your Atari on, you couldn't turn your TV on, doesn't make any sense, but turn your radio on, that was just perfectly timed. The radio was how I got in touch with gospel music originally, uh, outside of just my mother's playing. We used to come in every day and I would listen to the Stamps Quartet out of Dallas and the Imperial Quartet, not our wonderful Nashville-based Imperials, but this was the Imperial Quartet sponsored by the Imperial Sugar Company down in the Houston area. And boy, those guys just, they sang till your tubes were weak when they got through on the, the radio. <laughs> Marion Snyder was the penis, and I've seen him actually in concert turn around and play backwards and grin at seven rows at once. You know, he was just, he could just do that. We used to come in every day at lunch. The noon news was on on KRLD in Dallas at 12 o'clock. 12.15, you got the Stamps-Baxter Quartet, sponsored by Dudley's Funeral Home. And he sang in the quartet. 
they uh, would go to 12.30 and the Imperial Quartet would come on. So Dad would be at school waiting to pick us up at 12 o'clock come home for lunch. And we'd fight through okra and squash and cornbread and all that stuff. And the quartets. And then at 15 minutes to 1, we would pile back in the car and go, you couldn't talk during lunch. You couldn't say pass something. You could reach. <laughs> we'd sit out at the table with cornbread and stacks of hymn books. And that's what we had on the table at lunch. And we'd sing with those people. And uh, I have a friend named Ken Chafin in Houston, and he tells about his daddy when Ken was a boy. His daddy bought a new radio and brought it home, put it in the kitchen, plugged it up, tuned it to WSM right here in Nashville, Tennessee, home of the Grand Old Opry. And then Ken said his daddy pulled all the knobs off. <laughs> now that, <laughs> that's the way my daddy did. He pulled the knobs off because you weren't messing with KRLD and the stamps and the Imperials. We listened every day. My daddy was a frustrated quartet bass. Yeah, he'd moan and down on those deep notes. And it was a lot of fun being around that stuff. And uh, this is one that they used to do all the time. Turn your radio on. BG, let's have it. Come and listen in to a radio station where the mighty hosts of heaven sing. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Your radio on. If you want to hear the songs of Zion coming from the land of endless spring, get in touch with God. Get in touch with God. Turn your radio on. And the many friends gone on before Turn your radio on Turn your radio on Turn your radio on, Turn your radio on. Some eternal morning we shall meet them Over on the hallelujah shore Get in touch with God next uh, combination of some old familiar hymns that you know, we're going to sing different words to the tune, Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my Sovereign die, would he devote a sacred head to such a worm as I? Hamill finally got in the hymn book. <laughs> the man hates me. Such a worm as Hamill. I'm going to just put his name in. Go right ahead and do it. But these are some beautiful old songs, and you'll hear us kind of move through two of the different places here. And in a moment, we'll ask you to kind of join in and sing along with us. Just aim your head up toward the microphones and let it happen, because we're going to have some fun. A beautiful old medley of tunes, all to the same melody, but some that you'll know very well. Savior bleed and did my sovereign die would he devote that sacred head for such a worm as I and 
at the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing its worth. It sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name on earth. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from me, Manuel's vein, and the sinners plunged beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains at the cross at the cross where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away it was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. It was there by faith I received my sight. This uh, last selection, I think, probably pulls into focus in the whole area of gospel music one of the most important things that I think sometimes we forget. Maybe our good Church of Christ friends do know something after all, that there's probably nothing more appropriate than good voices and good music, and just let that happen. Probably won't be any Wurlitzers and drum sections in heaven. Few harps, possibly. But my hunch is we'll spend a lot of time doing a cappella. <laughs> and this tune, I think, is one of the greatest old songs in the world. It's called Near the Cross. And this marvelous quartet's going to lead us in an a cappella rendition. And in a moment, you'll join us, okay? Jesus, keep me near the
absolutely beautiful. We thank you for spending a good night with us. The Kingsman and I are in your debt. And thank you for uh, having time enough to spend with us and to sing with us and to make this such a good time for us. We love this music. We love the people that wrote it. We love the people that keep singing it. And people like you who make us uh, feel very good about what we like to do. And we appreciate your being part of our time tonight. Would you help us give the world a smile one more time and join us as we do that? Give the world a smile. Give the world a smile every day. Give the world a smile every day.